It's going to happen, but you see... You no, it's going to happen if we make it happen. You, you can't be too impulsive with it, though. You can't, you can't provide the force. See, that's what happened. 200 years ago, our founding fathers were too impulsive, and it cost a whole lot of lives. Just, but thank goodness it worked out the way it did. But just let it happen, because it's going to take place. No, it will happen if we make it. And let me ask you something. If one half the population was to die, mm -hmm. but the world became one, became unified, became a, just a, a single, right? A single planet, one people, right? right. Wouldn't that be worth it? Wouldn't that be it worth happened. it? I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't in a thousand years from now that we said, oh, thank goodness. It's like the final war, the final conflict. Yeah, but that doesn't have to that doesn't have to take place. How See, do you, you just, know? I mean, how do we know it hasn't it, happened yet? If you just make it pleasing, if you make the offer oh, yeah, something yeah. plausible, right. people give, give everybody a piece of cake with it, right? Yeah. Here, let's make one world government. Here, here's a piece of cake. <laughs> give me a break. I, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, it'll everything happen. we have is because of force. We, we force are, is why everything exists today. No, force. greed is. We are motivated by greed. No, force. Oh, property yeah. rights. Property. It's all over real estate. That's it. Well, property. That's, that's greed. But it, it's it, greed, right? Greed. Yeah, right. Greed. Yeah, thanks for the call. Let's go to Matt. Hello, Matt. You're on AM 750 WSB. Yeah, Dave, I just have one question for you. If what is it? We're going to form a uh, mm -hmm. one world government. Who's going to be the president? Who's going to lead this thing? We'll have to us? elect somebody. We'll have to. I don't want to elect a, a president. I want to elect a manager. Okay, a well, manager that holds the government together and makes sure all the roads are built, makes sure we protect the ozone, makes sure we protect the rivers, makes sure we protect the animals out in the, uh, you know, the wild, and just a manager to take care of our basic needs like that, but not a dictator. Who, who would you suggest for that job? I don't, I, nobody comes to mind. Nobody comes the, to mind. It might be a Japanese businessman. I don't know. Okay. Okay, thanks. Is that it? Yep. Okay, Matt. No, what, should I already have the king lined up or the, the dictator? Is that what you're looking for? 872-0750 is my number. We have got to, I mean, our lives, we have got to give, I mean, we've got to, we've got to. We're going to go down in history as horrible people. You and I, we're going down in history as wicked, selfish, greedy, despicable people. You and I, we're that's the way you and I are going down in history books. But we can change that. We can change it. Let's go down, let's go to Helen. Hello, Helen. Hello. Hello. This is crazy. What's crazy? This one world government. See, you're contradicting yourself over and over. You're saying, you know, this isn't going to be like Hitler. All the horrible things are caused by force. But then again, you're saying for this one world government system, join or die? That's, that was our policy 200 years ago. No, it wasn't. It was too. 200 jo years ago, the founding fathers said, listen, we don't want this crap from England. We don't like the My way they govern them. My gosh, 200 years ago, we, we had slavery and we killed all the Indians. We will, not, we will do it better than they did. We're smarter than they are. But slavery and killing the Indians? What do you think that, you're what, what do you think you're proposing? That is slavery, a one world government system where one person says, I am the boss and every single person on the face of this earth has to do what I say, that is slavery and damn it, I'm not gonna subscribe to that. Of course I wouldn't subscribe I'm gonna defend my Helen. house and I'm gonna shoot any idiot that's gonna tell me they're gonna take over. That's just ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I don't want a guy up there saying, I'm the boss and you'll do what you I said. You said join I, or die. Join, that That's was what you said. We had the snake cut up. Remember the snake? Didn't you read history books? The snake was all cut up. Join or die. That was what we said 200 years ago. That's ridiculous. My no, God, you're wrong. Read you're wrong. All right, Helen. I'm not wrong. 8720750. You all remember that in history, don't you? I don't feel like I can trust anybody. The truth is, I don't like myself very much. I can't talk about my feelings. I never could. I want to succeed, but I'm my own worst enemy. Why do I have these guilt feelings? Sometimes I feel like such a fraud. These are the voices of codependents. Bob Glasgow, And if news breaks out, we'll break in. News Talk Radio, AM 750, WSB. Depend on it. The following program was translated from Hebrew. It's Out to Lunch with David Paul, a radio show that surgically removes your brain from your head, throws it in a blender, and feeds it to you. <laughs> Join us at 872-0750. Come on, it'll be fun. <laughs> it's David Paul on News Talk Radio, AM 750, WF. Crap! 
Go is back. And now we're into office automation. Yes, when your Apple goes rotten, when your PC goes PU, it's time for you to buy Crapco's amazing hand-powered writing stick from Crapco. Imagine a portable word processing system that fits right into your hand and requires no electricity. <gasps> Just place this miracle tool on any piece of paper and make it go. Letters, words, whole sentences appear automatically, as if by magic, through our patented graphite and wood formula. Oh, the point, bro. No. no problem, because if you act now, you can also get the Crapco Miracle Writing Stick Rejuvenator. <laughs> Good as new, but wait, there's more. Make a mistake? Don't worry. Simply invert your amazing Crapco Writing Stick and employ the rubberized word remover at the other end. <gasps> it's gone. Isn't it amazing? Of course it is. So take out a pencil and write down the address flashing on your radio screen right now. Get one for your dog, too. What? It's Carapco's amazing writing stick and writing stick rejuvenator. Just $99.95, $99.95. And remember, at Carapco, we always say, if you buy this, you'll buy anything. Welcome back. David Paul here. That's right, David Paul. Out to lunch with David Paul. Here we are. This is it. This is your mission. Do you understand? This is it. This is what your life comes down to. You don't have a mission. Most likely, you just you wake up in the morning like I do, and you get the same day, the same day, every day, every day, every day, right? Same TV shows every week, every week, right? I mean, the same weekends. Just that's, that's my life. I've just described my life. Now you've got a mission. You've got a mission. You've got a way to go down in history, just like they did 200 years ago. This is our mission. It is this, it's history repeating itself. Join or die. We're going to form one world. This is one world, right? One world. Join or die. 872-0750 is our number. We have got to do it. Understand? We have got to do it. We have no choice. Let's go to Chuck and Conyers. You're on AM 750 WSB. Hi, Dave. Okay. Hello. 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 What's going on? Not much. Uh, Dave. Yes. How are you going to do this? How am I going to do it? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you got a billion biggest... Chinese. How are you going to do that? How am I going to what? A billion Chinese. A what you, billion. What do you mean a B in Chinese? You have a B in Chinese people. A B in Chinese people. Correct. A what, billion. A billion Chinese people. Right. You just say this the way it is, man. I mean, we got a big army. We just we just put it together. We, first off, Soviet, Wait a minute. Soviet Wait a minute. Union. Soviet Union is becoming our buddy. The first thing we do is we join. No, 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 no. The Chinese are not our buddies. No. How are you gonna do that? No, we just we're not asking people to do it. No, it's, no, I know you're not asking. How are you gonna do it? I, I don't know that I'm going to do it. We're going to do it. How would you do how it? We, how are we going to do it? I don't know. Why don't you contribute something now? I've been contributing for the last 35 minutes. Let's hear you contribute no, you, something. you said you, we're okay, going to do okay. it. All right, you take on. You say it can't be done. You've got to have an idea. How would you do it? I wouldn't do it, but you said you were going to do it, so no, how I, are you going to do it? The way I would do it is you start small. You find five or six countries to join. Five or six. Five or, six, five or six Chinese, right? Five or six big countries to join. And then you, the little ones, you don't ask. You just tell them. And then how, you about, how about the billion Chinese? What do you do? There's a billion Chinese, but there's one bomb that'll take care of it. Wow. My gosh. You Blow don't, them up. My, look, it's worth it. It is worth it. You have to have one world. This is, we're killing the planet. Do you understand? Oh, we, you're going to kill the planet to save the planet. I'm not going to kill the planet. I'm going to kill the little, the little cancers uh, on it. Billion Chinese. A billion Chinese. That's right. Do you want? Let me try to explain to you. We either take care of it now, or in a, in a, in a couple of years from now, we won't have a choice. The planet will die, and then we will slowly all oh, die off. You're going to save the planet by killing a billion Chinese, and at I'm the same time, on, I don't want to kill anybody. Well, you're going to have to. Oh, you? No, you're not. Why do you have to kill somebody? Well, if they're not going to do it, you're going to have to kill them. No, you just, it's just, that's the way it is. I mean, just... Oh, just kill them, then. I mean, what do you think a one-world government is? Do you think we're going to march I, I in? I think a one-world government... you think we're going to march in and take over your city hall, and we're going to take over your schools, and we're going to stand on corners? We're not going to do that. We're just going to say from now on it's illegal to have armies. Oh, and they say no. What do you say? Tough crap. It's not up oh, for then discussion. You kill them. Then you kill them. Do you... Ah! If 90% of the world is against you, you're not going to fight back. Oh, well then why do it? Why Dave? why do it 
so the world will become but one. But Dave, they if say you, no. Boy, if you were around 200 years ago, they would have lynched you in the street. They would have lynched no, you. No, they tried to lynch my great, 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 great grandfather. Well, too bad they didn't. No, well, they didn't because we won. Who won? My great, 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 great grandfather. Well, I'm so glad. Thank you for the history lesson, Guy. Thanks a lot. Let's go to Kiki in Lethonia. You're on AM 750 WSB. David. Hello. You have, hi, you have beautiful ideas today. Uh-huh. Uh, listen, I think uh, that um, we are going towards that form of a government in the future. Thank goodness. Not... Isn't that good? Yes, it is great. We're not going to have any more armies. We're not going to have nuclear waste, nuclear weapons, nuclear nothing. That's right. All the world is going to be working just to try to find ways to help humanity. Isn't that nice? It is beautiful, but right. it's a long way from now. And I even have an idea how we should go about and do it. Why is it a long ways from now? It's like saying because it's like saying vacations a long ways from now. No, to no, this because, weekend, uh, if I wanted uh, to, I could. People are not ready for these ideas uh, yes, yet. Yes, we have. Then they'll to, never be ready. They'll never be ready. We have to learn how to 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 inform them and how to let them know and how to let to teach them how to think from now on All differently. Right. One... To condition them, we have to form a world committee. And, uh, we already have a United Nations. Well, uh, a committee that everybody agrees on, you know. Right. It's going to be a small committee. Right. And this small committee is going to inform all the world leaders mm -hmm. that there is no more different countries in the world. It's right. going to be one big country. You don't have to defend America. You don't have to defend China. You don't have to defend Iraq. Because it's going to be open all over. Okay. You will be able to live anywhere you like. Right. You won't need passports to go from no, one place won't. to the other. That's right. You won't have different currency, <laughs> one currency for the whole world. That's right. And this is when the change is going to happen. Uh, so we still have a lot of work to do. You mean do. once all that, then the change? Bull crap. But okay, thank you. Bye. Bull crap. Do you remember the Articles of Confederation? Do you remember with that, that a couple hundred years ago they had they had the thirteen separate colonies and they had a thing called the Articles of Confederation, right? Remember that? You remember that? That is the same thing the United Nations is today. United Nations is very weak. It's not held together that tightly, and it doesn't have that much power. Well, the Articles of Confederation were the exact same thing, but eventually they just handed all their powers to what we have now, the government we have now. We have got to do the same thing. Let's do the same thing that they did two hundred years ago on a bigger scale. Come on, come on. Let's all stand up and do it. Let's do it. Let's go to Micah in Roswell. You're on News Talk Radio AM 750 WSB. How do you think you're going to convince all the leaders of all the countries right now that have all the all the armies and weapons to just relinquish their you, power and well, give you're it not, all to somebody else? Who's relinquishing power? I'm not saying we're not going to walk into a country and say we're going to take all your assets. We're not going to, we're saying the leader of the country is now the governor. He's now the governor. That's all. You still elect a governor. We make sure there's no uh, communism in the world. We try to do away with our government, the socialistic government we're forming right now in this country. We try to make a good, just free, uh, out-of-the-way government, and everybody's free to do their own thing. You know, and, and you could get rich, you could be poor, you could do just like the way they started off this government. Well, we blew it in our time span. That's just going to make society worse because you're going to add another ten or 20,000 bureaus that have to shuffle paperwork here and there. And by oh, the time yeah, so screw gets, it, screw yeah. it. Let's go back to bed. Good night. Yeah, go back to bed. Give me a break. How, yes. how long of are you course it's going to be confusing. Thing lasting before the entire population of the world has a revolt and kills the world leader, and then we're back to where we started. Oh, and just mass confusion. That's like saying if, if President Kennedy's mass confusion. Uh oh, the government's gone. Somebody hid the somebody hid the Constitution. Oh my gosh, somebody oh, stole the Constitution. Oh my gosh, start all over again. Give me a break. It doesn't go backwards. We formed this government. It worked. It it out. It lived. It's it served its purpose. Now it's time to move forward. We have got to have a one-world government. Everything else will fall into place once we have one world. What's your ultimate? A house that is divided will not stand. You ever hear that? It's yeah. in the Bible. You read I the Bible? I a house that no, is I don't care about the Bible. Okay, well, the it's... house a house that is divided will not stand. And our house is divided. Right? Divided. It's divided. Okay, well, what's your ultimate goal here? Is it just that... To save the planet or to make... To save the people and the planet. If we save the planet, we save us. If we don't save the planet, we're all going to die. You won't die. You'll have a great life. You're probably your great-great-grandchildren. They'll all die off from diseases and everything else because the planet will be dead. They'll be on a dead bush, more or less. 
Well, see, the, the important thing here yeah. is the population. That is what's killing this planet and everything. Of course. Well, we'll have, to, we'll have to put a limit on population. You can't put a limit now. It's too, there's no centralized government. There's no one world, right? You got to do this, man. You got to do this. We have no choice. We got to do it. Frank Chambly, you're on News Talk Radio AM 750 WSB. Hello, Dave. Hello, Frank. Listen, you want to kill all those billion Chinese people? I don't want to kill anybody. You're, you're going to blow, blow them up with a bomb? No, I'm just saying join or die. I'm taking the exact same, that's the exact same logo, more or less, they had 200 years ago. No, that was, don't, that was don't tread on me, that snake. And they're just saying join the cause of freedom. Don't, don't. No, I like it. Don't join or die. That's well, why like. would they die? I'm not. I'm just. You have to do it. If half the population died, but we formed one world, it would be worth it. So they're they can you can sacrifice these people in the name of having a world the way you want it. No, the way the way we want it, the way the way it has to be. You understand? It was just we're we're divided. We're blowing money. You're working forty percent of your paychecks probably going to taxes. We're not doing it right. We're killing the rivers. We're killing the ocean. We're damaging the ozone. We're kill. We're da we're ruining the air we breathe. We're we're killing off all the animals on the planet. Right? It's oh yeah. Just, we got we got a third of the population starving, uh, starving over there. We've got ten thousand people, people ten thousand people a day who die of starvation. But hey, you're a rich American, so it doesn't matter to you, does it? No, I think you're right. Everything that yeah. you said is right, but you got the wrong solution. What what about these little girls over there? These little three year old little little babies, just like yours. Are you gonna? Kill them? I'm Is not going to blow them up. I don't want to blow up anybody. Well, then how are they going to die? I'm, we're just, we're putting, we're... <laughs> let, me, let me switch subjects. I don't know how they're going to die. I mean, I, I'm not, I don't want to kill anybody. Okay, listen. Yeah, all right, what? Are you from Orlando? Yes, I am. Uh, Boone High School? Yes. Near Pine Castle? No, Pine Castle, no, it's right off Michigan. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I went to school down there. Yeah. Wondering if you were, uh... A Boone Brave, yeah. A Boone Brave, yeah. okay, yeah. good. Okay, Dave. Uh, where did well, you go to school, Frank? Oh, I just went to elementary school down there, a place yeah. called Blankner. I, I know Blankner well. Blankner was in the movie. Um, that was that was that was on Kaylee, wasn't it? Uh, I don't know. Well, Kay, it was on a school named Blankner. And if you saw the kid prop movie Problem Child, Problem Child was filmed at Blankner. Oh, was it? Sure was. See you later, Frank. See you, Dave. Bye. Eight seven two zero seven fifty. David Paul. <sighs> <sighs> News Talk Radio, AM 750 WSB. Make it a habit. Tune in two, three, four times a day for up-to-the-minute news from AM 750 WSB. Start with Atlanta's morning news, then check back during the day and again on your commute home. News Talk Radio, AM 750 WSB. News, weather, traffic. Depend on it. Up all morning, a light breakfast, working hard, and now you have decisions, decisions. Where do I go for lunch? No, where do I take that key client for lunch? Or maybe I'll invite a friend to lunch. How about a warm neighborhood bar and grill that features all your favorite soups and sandwiches and entrees like Philly cheese sandwich. You'll think you're down on South Street after an Eagles game. It's a favorite at all five Derby locations. And are you in luck? Because at the Derby bar and grill locations in Buckhead, Spalding Drive, Pleasant Hill, and Nesbitt Ferry, you can get a two-for-one luncheon special. That's right, to go along with that warm neighborhood bar atmosphere, fast courtesy service, each day those locations will have a luncheon special. Make the Derby your St. Patty's Day headquarters. They'll have corned beef and cabbage with all the trimmings for only $6.95. Join them at any of the five Derby's locations for all the festivities, including the Derby in Buckhead off Piedmont Road. Mr. Leprechaun, why are you so depressed? Well, Doctor, nobody needs me. Uh, how so? Usually this time of year, I have people everywhere looking for me, so I can grant them a wish. Sounds wonderful. Oh, well, it was, until Barlow and Eaton Jewelers came along. Barlow and Eaton? Sure. They have all their gold and diamonds on sale for St. Patrick's Day, and that's no blarney. So nobody needs your gold at the end of the rainbow? Not since Barlow and Eaton Jewelers came along. Have you considered another line of work? Like what? A shortstop, a short-order cook. Oh, I'll bite you 
Good ain't call you giraffe brain. Get lucky during Barlow and Eaton Jewelers St. Patrick's Day Sale. Every piece of jewelry has been reduced to the lowest price ever. 14 karat gold designer chains and bracelets for only $15.99 a gram. Save up to 50% on a beautiful selection of diamonds. And as usual, Barlow and Eaton gives you free layaway, guaranteed lowest prices, and a worry-free lifetime diamond guarantee. And we're located in a mall near you. Barlow and Eaton Jewelers, where we make people happy. Say, do you like writing short stories? I prefer tall tales. Yellow 976 Eaton. Hi. Oh, it's... Yeah, uh, me again, huh? Yeah, I thought so. Listen, I got a real beauty all picked out for you. Great. You know, you've been paying $3 a minute every day just to hear me eat an apple. Well, it's more than an apple. Oh, sure, it's a Washington State apple. Right. But still, you know, you could buy your own Washington State apples. Oh, I do. But see, I'm kind of watching my weight, and whenever I'm going to go on a junk food binge, I call you for, uh... This, huh? <laughs> yeah. Reminds me of how crisp and crunchy and satisfying a simple Washington State apple is. How oh, uh, ripe, red, delicious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. And I'm a payphone at a restaurant. I'm going to order a heavy lunch here. Hey, how about a fresh fruit salad with some nice, crisp slices of, uh... Oh, thanks. Look, I'll talk to you tomorrow, huh? Tomorrow. Gee, uh, I got some pruning to take care of out in the orchard tomorrow. Oh. Why don't you just put a couple of Washington State apples into your briefcase? Oh, what a great idea. My pleasure. Yeah, I better run. The people at my table are ordering. Uh, say, could you, uh... Just to help the old willpower, huh? Sure. <laughs> thanks. Washington apples. They're as good as you've heard. Hi, Claude Aikens for Amco. Say the name Amco, and most folks think of automatic transmissions. But guess who services more manual transmissions than any other transmission specialist? That's right, Amco. Surprised? You shouldn't be. Because today's manual transmissions are complicated pieces of engineering. It takes experience and skill, the kind you get from an Amco center mechanic, to tell the difference between a big problem and a minor repair when your stick shift is acting up. Fact is, of all the cars serviced by Amco dealers, half wind up not needing a new transmission. So if your manual transmission is giving you problems, remember, your Amco dealer is a real clutch player. Amco, double A, MCO. Your local independently owned and operated Amco Center can honor most extended service contracts. See your local white or yellow pages for the dealer nearest you. Open Saturdays. Hometown Radio Show this afternoon salutes the car as we broadcast live from the International Auto Show at the World Congress Center. Four o'clock this afternoon, our broadcast starts. We'll have Jeff Bodine, Lake Speed, a lot of music, news, and fun, everything you need to get back. And now more from David Paul on Atlanta's News Weather and Traffic Station, News Talk Radio, AM 750 WSB. Thanks, Larry. Kirk Mellish, tell me about the weather. Okay, David, some flurries or passing sprinkles possible by tonight into first thing tomorrow morning, but nothing to worry about. High this afternoon in the 50s, high tomorrow around 49. With frequent weather updates, I'm meteorologist Kirk Mellish in the AM 750 WSB Weather Center. And I'm Chris Monroe in the WSB Skycopter Sky Plane Traffic Center. You're going to find some construction delays once again on that South Expressway, I-75 southbound. When you get around 285, trying to make your way down toward the Forest Parkway, you're going to find a left lane affected with some construction. Some brush fires right now to watch out for. Gwinnett County authorities responding to one on Highway 29 at Montford Road. Going to cause a spectator delay. Also in Cobb County, the 700 block of Six Flags Road. Watch for a brush fire. Chris Monroe with the WSB Skycopter and Sky Plane Traffic. Center. David Paul, somebody who's just calling off the air, and I realized I hadn't given out in about the last two days, I hadn't given out the address, the, the summer camp this summer, we are sending a large group, around 40 underprivileged, abused uh, kids in foster homes and such, we're sending them to summer camp this summer, to a Camp Tacoa. we're going to provide them with a great summer, and uh, yeah, we are. Our family. That's you, me. We're all going to do it. We're all going to do our part. That's right. We're going to send them to Camp Tacoa, uh, and they'll just have a great summer. They deserve it, right? You had great summers. I had some great summers. They're going to have a great summer. So take down this address and mail in your share. Everybody's share is $1 each. If you're listening and you mail in a dollar, uh, make the check payable to WSB David Paul Summer Camp, Post Office Box, 4146, Atlanta, Georgia, 30302-4146. I'll give that out again in a little bit. Somebody will remind me. I'll give that address out again. But just mail in your contribution. That's $1.
Let's go to Jeff in Atlanta. You're on AM 750 WSB. Hey, Dave. Uh, this is uh, Jeff uh, from Atlanta. Hey, I'm, Jeff. I'm first-time uh, caller and long-time listener. Glad to have you. Yeah, uh, thanks. Well, uh, it is a great idea for the world to be as one. Mm -hmm. And uh, your last uh, caller, uh, Chuck from Conyers, ask how. Here is how. Okay. Okay. The next Olympic game, we can announce that uh, we want to... We want the world to be as one. Mm -hmm. And also the United Nations can announce that between the nations. And I think uh, most countries would like that. Yeah. I do, too. I think most people, I think everybody wants what you and I want. I want to live in freedom, right? right. I want to raise my family, and I want to be happy, right? That's right. That's what everybody in the world, and I want something to eat. That's what everybody in the world wants. We're all on common ground. And who's going to, we don't want to take it away from them. We just want, we want to do away with war, we want to do away, do away with nuclear weapons, right? That's true. Everybody wants it, so of course, every, and that's a great idea, Jeff, I like it. Thank yeah. you, Jeff. Let's do it, then. Let's do it. All right. All right. Great. And we'll go down in the history books as the greatest generation, the greatest group of people who ever lived. But it's a possibility. We could go down if we don't do this. We're going down as a bunch of rats living in garbage. That's what we're going to do. Let's go to 872-0750 is my number. Let's go to Todd. Hello, Todd. You're on the radio. Hey, Dave. Hey, Todd. Hey. I just want to tell you, I think I, I see where you're coming from. You do? I do. Where am I but coming from? The boat's from? going down, and if you don't get on a life raft, you're going to drown. That's right. Well put. Uh, extremely well put. That's the way some of these simpler people may be able to Well, a lot of it. these people are just thinking one world government, oh my gosh, Adolf Hitler all over again. That's not true. No, Why do people you, think the worst? You don't have to fight with these people. Sooner or later, they're going to come around once they can't get what they need. That's from right. Other you countries. just shut them off. You just That's shut right. them off. Either join just or just... what we did to Iraq. Just, just blockade them, right? That's right. You know, okay, you'll be in your own little yeah. element. You don't have to fight with them. Sooner or later, they're going to come around. Of it. course, they'll want to join. That's right. They'll want to be part of it, right? They won't have a choice. They won't have a choice. Join or die. We could have a representative from each of the countries together. It's kind of like the United Nations, but yeah. they have to report to one person. All right, Todd. See you later, Todd. Yeah, yeah. That's right, man. It will work. It will work. I'm David Paul. You're listening to News Talk Radio, AM 750 WSB. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Kirk Mellish, tell me about the weather. A warmer afternoon, turning mostly cloudy by tonight. High this afternoon in the 50s, low tonight around 36. For tomorrow, clearing, breezy and chilly, high 49, low 29. With frequent weather updates, I'm meteorologist Kirk Mellish in the AM 750 WSB Weather Center. 8720750 is our number. Let's go to Thelma. Hello, Thelma. Hi, Dave. Hi, Thelma. I think you're right on about uh, we're ruining our environment. Of course our we are. Our world is going to be ruined. We're, 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 we're bad people. We are. we are. We are really, we call ourselves Christians and all this, but we're basically, we're bad people. I think we're, your idea has a lot of merit. Yeah. I've uh, lived overseas for the last mm -hmm. 20, for, from the 50s, 60s, and the 70s. Right. And how long, you know, it's taken all these years for us to have communism come to the point that it is not going to work. Uh, democracy has worked in most of the countries that we that there is a middle class, but I have lived in countries where there's no middle class. Right. You either got poor, or you got rich. The rich take from the poor, the poor steal from the rich. It's a very difficult environment to live in. And uh, these countries over in the Far East, you know, they've been fighting Christian wars for since the Bible, and they fight each other. Although they're uh, they're called uh, uh, Arabs or this type of uh, people, but they still fight among themselves, and you really got a problem there. They can't even solve their own problem, you know. So uh, it's very difficult in the world. You got these different kinds of situations. Sure. 
but there's always going to be hatred. I mean, that's like love, you know? I mean, just well, that's like saying doing away with love, you know? I mean, it's always going to be there. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's just part of people, right? The Christian world's, uh, world wars, though, have been the longest. Yeah, really. I've lived in and that's, Arab countries. And that's scary, yeah. I lived in Morocco. You I've did. Been, been around the world, huh, fella? My husband's been in Saudi Arabia, and Isn't my it? son's been in Saudi Arabia. Did, it, did that make you a snob? I heard travel. No, travel no. makes a person a snob. No, you know what? What? I went when I was 18 years old. I left high school and went immediately overseas, and I've had an experience in my lifetime traveling. You I have. have. I have had an education. Mm -hmm. And I've enjoyed everywhere I have lived for a time, but I've always enjoyed coming back to the good old sure. USA. That's right. Because, you know, home, nothing sweet, home. like it. That's nothing right. like it, yeah. It's a and great, so it's, it's the only country, only country. Yeah, I'm experienced. I just think, I, I, I just, maybe I'm a dreamer, but I just think the whole world could be like the USA. Yes. The whole world could have our form of government. Except, yes. yeah, I don't want our form of government. I want to improve it. Our, our form of go government is damaged. I mean, we need to improve it, right? Yes. Why it's can't the, the whole world be like that? It's best so far. It's the best. It uh -huh. is the best, but it's by, it's not. It no. needs lots of work. Yes. I mean, it just it's these people are crooks, right? I, mean, I called in the other day. We were talking about doing away with the, our senators and the legislature right. and this type of thing. I mean, I, I agree with that too. Good talking to you, Thelma. Thank you. All right, eight seven two zero seven fifty is my number. That's right. That's the talk line. I'm a dreamer. All right, I'll be the first to admit I'm a dreamer. But I just think that's, that's, we've got to have a purpose. You and I are going to go through our lives. Everybody else donated their lives for us. They did something for us, but we're not doing anything in return. We're not giving anything back. And we have got, the time has come. It is a lot smaller world. We have got, they gave us so much. We have got to give something back instead of just using it up. We're just using it up. What kind of people are we? Eight seven two zero seven fifty. Are you with me? Are you with me? Are you gonna join or die? Are you with me? Are you with me? You gonna join the army here? You gonna do it? Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Oh, real? Are you gonna do it? I want to know. Of course you're gonna do it. Well, I guess not. I guess Dave Paul sitting here all alone, all by his lonesome. <sighs> guess we should just sit back and watch television and forget it, right? Right. Let's just go out and scalp some more property, kill some more river, rivers, right? Let's just kill all the animals, right? Right? All right. Fine. Fine. That's the way you want to be. That's the way you want it. Okay. So what's the point? What's the point? I'm frustrated. You're frustrating me. To the phones we go. Who is next here? Who is next? Who's been waiting the longest? Eight seven two zero seven fifty is my number. I'm waiting on you. That's right. Okay. All right. Forget it. Forget it. It's flooded with calls. And also, in the last five minutes, it's completely died out. Unbelievable. All right. Forget it. Where'd they go, Melanie? What happened to them? I don't know, David. Oh, well, what do you think? I mean, just you didn't cut them off or anything, did you? No, I didn't cut them off. You didn't. You sure, Melanie? <laughs> Yes, I did. Uh, all right, thanks, Melanie. <laughs> all right, uh, uh, what do you think? The, what happened, Jules? What happened? I was burning up here. I was, on, I was on a roll, and all of a sudden, just died on me. Died on me. What happened, Jules? I don't know. This is too deep for me. It's too deep for you, Jules. Yeah. This now, just... now I said, here they come. Now they're packing in. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Because they heard me. Is it? <sighs> they heard you. Yeah. Unbelievable. Right. Your voice it's... comes on, and it goes crazy. I feel like I'm just wasting time. I'm wasting time. I'm wasting my time. I mean, I, you know, I feel like, I feel like, see, you're like me. You were like me. You're, you're out there and you want to do something. You're, you're a good person. You want to be a decent person. You want to do something decent for society. You really do. You want to go down as just giving your fair share. You do. You, you do. You want to be like me. You want to, yes, I want to do the right thing, but we just have no idea what to do. I feel like the right thing to do is one world government. I do. Melissa. Hello, Melissa. Hello. Hi, Melissa. How are you? I'm okay now. I'm interested in what you're talking about, but I don't really understand what your plan is. My plan? Yes. My plan is, it's just like they did 200 years ago. We take the same blueprint they had then, the same schematic, more or less, and we do the exact same thing. You, you join or die, like the 13 original colonies, you become one. Except now we do it 230-something countries, we become one. 
Well, how do you plan to, to, to start this? We though? just announced to the world, our country announced to the world, this is what we want to do. Are you in? And then let all the ones that are in do it. And then uh, in a couple of years, go after the ones that don't want to join and force them to. Okay. It's real simple. No, uh, no armies, just a big police force. Interesting concept. It would work. It would work. Well, I definitely agree that we do need something, that we right. are destroying our world. That's right, Melissa. Thank you, Melissa. Uh -huh. Bye-bye. Bye. 872 I'm David Paul. This is News Talk Radio, AM 750 WSB. It's getting pretty nutty out there. Yeah. Listen to this. A nutty bar for nutty times. Mr. Goodbye. Depend on it. The following program caters to very intelligent goofballs. It's Out to Lunch with David Paul on News Talk Radio, AM 750 WSB. The radio talk show for people who constantly breathe in and out, over and over again. How about getting off your big boom bot and contributing? Our number is 8720750. That's 8720750. What the heck you waiting for? And now, it's time for Officer Joe, the cop with a defective hearing aid. Uh, officer, officer, my, my house has been robbed. Well, he'll have to file an official complaint at the police station. Who, who will? The mouse who was robbed. No, 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 my house, my house was robbed. Someone broke in and took all my stuff and left. Well, laddie, a broken muffin is nothing to bother the police with. No. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. Someone came into my house and took all of our belongings. Oh, oh, let me think now. Uh, Judy Garland, I believe. Yeah. Here we are. A new hour. Get out your dress again. You're going to contribute, right? This is to our kids. We're sending 40 kids to uh, Camp Tacoa. To Camp Tacoa this summer. We've been uh, collecting now. We have. That's you and I. That's right. It's our project. We're in this together. This is our group family project. Everybody is to pitch in $1, your fair share. That's right, just $1. And uh, everybody just, man, those checks are coming in. And that's, that's very nice. Make the check payable to WSB David Paul Summer Camp. Post Office Box 4146, Atlanta, Georgia. 30302-4146. That's right. Here we are. David Paul, One World Government. We've got to do it. We've got to do it. They did it 200 years ago. Thank goodness. We praise these people. We look up to them. We put them on our dollar bills, you know? We, I mean, we admire these people. They're in our history books. We, I mean, we glamorize them. They're, they're really great. We overlook their faults from a couple hundred years ago for what they did. We need to do the same thing. Let's go to Chuck. And, uh, Chuck, you're on AM 750 WSB. Hey, how you doing? Good, Chuck. I think it's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Of course it is. There's it's just history repeating itself, just on a bigger scale. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a few barriers, though, that you need to think about. A lot of barriers. Such as the cultural barriers for the other countries. Of course. Well, we have, we have that now, north and south in this country, you know? Well, that, I'm talking about, like, from here to Iraq. <laughs> right. Well, it, yeah. You know, and you got the language barriers, the religious barriers. Right, of course. And, uh, but it's a real good idea. How would you go about... I'm not talking changing it. I'm not talking becoming one and we'll merge countries. We'll put bridges from here to there. This all it would be, just you just make certain rules and uh, certain obligations. We'd all have to take part in paying for certain stuff, like taking care of the world, let's say the world, milita the world police force, or let's say taking care of the ozone, or taking care of whatever, whatever, taking care of the ocean. We'd all have to take care of the cost together. And certain rules like no nuclear weapons and one world, uh, one world currency and things like that. This. I'm not going to go in there and say, well, you have to change your religion and you got to, your people right. have to come live with our people. No. I mean, just because, yeah, well, they wouldn't have to come over here at all. We wouldn't have to go over there. Right? Definitely. Heck yes. And we all take part and help out all the poor people on the other side of the globe. Sure. We just do what is right. Well, shouldn't we do what's right, Chuck? Yeah, and my occupation I'm in, unfortunately, there's too many people out there that don't want to do what's right. Yeah. I'm a police it's too, officer. It's too, are you really? Yeah. It's too easy not to do what's right. It's right. just easier to sit back, right? Exactly. See you later. Jay, you're on AM 750 WSB. Hey, David, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing pretty good, Jay. 
Well, David, I've been listening to you for about a week now. I enjoy your show. Mm -hmm. First time caller. Good. You're right about everything except for the one world government. Why is that wrong? I mean, look at our federal government. They're tyrannical as they are. Well, uh, I would not mold it after our government. Our government has a lot of faults. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, look at the U.N. or look at the uh, European common market that they're building over there. Wait till the one world government taxes us, you know, to build roads in um, Morocco or something like that. I mean... It, it just won't work. It won't work. It won't work. So I don't, just, you know. So what's the, what's the prop? What's the big deal then, right? Yeah, the big deal. You know what's is, scary though? You ever play Monopoly? Yeah. You ever play Monopoly and just you know you've got you've got three p or four people sitting around. Three people own all the real estate, all the houses, right? All the hotels. Uh -huh. And you got that one fourth guy who just by luck just never landed on the right property. He doesn't own anything. He never stands a chance, does he? No. Nope. He will always be out. He will never be able to survive. And that's the way all the third world countries are. They will never be able to catch up. They will always be out there starving to death. I don't know. Don't we have obligations? No. I mean, you know, you take in the Monopoly board, you'd have a one world government that would say, um, well, you got all these hotels and houses, you know, why don't you give them to this fourth guy? I mean, we're a rich country. We have a lot of national we're already resources. We're already doing that to our own people. They're taking out of your pocket to give to the other guy. I know. worldwide. We need to do it on a bigger scale. What, I don't want to give to them. You get them, you set them up in farms. You set them up where they can survive. You help them out. Yeah, I, I don't know, Dave. What? I just think a one-world government would be coercive. It just wouldn't work. Well, we don't know. It hasn't been done. It's happening. That's, the George That's Bush right. It is world happening. Order. It's just it, it is happening. World order is good. You have to have order. Yeah. Don't you have to have order? No, no. Well, what no. do you want? Disorder? Yeah. Yeah, a little disorder. bit more disorder. Yeah, all right. See you later. Okay. Scoby, is that your name? Scoby. Scoby, you're yeah. on AM750 WSB. Yeah, I think um, overall you got a pretty good idea. Mm hmm But, I mean, when you think of the big picture, you're talking about a huge company. I mean, if you compare government to a company, I mean, government is grossly inefficient. Yes, it is. And the larger the government is, the more inefficient it is. I mean, just compare the Soviet Union to, say, the United States. Their government, or, or so much legislation, it's just so much more inefficient. Well, so is ours. Ours is inefficient. Yeah. Ours is, I mean, ours is equally as bad, I think. I mean, ours is just, could be even worse. But we don't have near as people many starving over, the, over here as they do over there. No, not yet. But how do you... Um, you keep talking about how we've screwed up the whole planet. We have screwed up the whole planet. But you're like an anti-recycler. Am I an anti-recycler? Yeah. You just talk down about it, and you're like, oh, well, you got your own little comments. Well, that that is true. But see, that's I, I look at that as doing, it's just, I mean, just it's nothing. It's it's just, you look at it as doing something. That's good and everything. You're doing your part. That's the that's the, that's the most you can do. That's that's your idea of, of just, you're, you're, good, you're a good human being or by doing that, whatever it is. I just think on a bigger scale, there's something bigger out there we need to do. I, I mean, what's Don't the, you what, think what's you the point of, oh, well, here they're charging me $10 for an emission sticker, right? They charge me ten dollars for a mission sticker, but just um, I mean, a few hundred miles in another direction on the uh, you know I mean uh, another island out there. They don't care at all. They don't care at all. So my government has set up a way to make ten bucks in Florida. They don't even care. They don't care in Florida. They don't care in other states. But here in my state, we care. So what's the point? I mean, what's the <laughs> point? I mean, well, the way I look at it is, you found the way to rip me off of ten bucks, huh. and well, that's what they're doing. So they have ripped me off. Don't you think they have to start some? I mean, there's not any way they're going to be able to all of a sudden just change everything at, um, in one day. I mean, of course not. It's got to start somewhere. That's right. It's difficult. Gotta, it's here. I That's mean, right. emissions. Emissions. Recycling. I mean, you start no, emissions. Is, don't, don't try to defend emissions. Emissions is a bunch of crap. <laughs> Ninety-five percent of everybody goes through an emission station passes. Ninety-five percent pass. That means five percent of the people get stopped. So what they five percent of the people have a problem, but ninety-five percent of the people are being ripped off. I mean, they're charging all of us ten bucks just to find five percent of the people. That's a rip off. That's a con job in the name of emissions, right? In the name of just doing something good. They found a way to rip me off. Well, I think it's really stupid. Um, they, I mean, from where I come from, I mean, they do state inspections on a statewide basis. Here in this state, what is it? It's like DeKalb County and Fulton County. I mean, all the other counties in Georgia have no 
testing whatsoever. Right. I mean, it's just stupid. It I is mean, why don't stupid. they just do it? A, a, I mean, if they're going to do it, they might as well do well, the whole state, gotta, the whole country. Oh, well, we got a stupid governor. All right, see, like, well, no, he's not. He's pretty good. He's, he's cutting the budget. He's doing a pretty good job. The government before, the governor before him was pretty dumb. He's doing a pretty good job. Let's go to AJ in Stone Mountain. You're on News Talk Radio, AM 750 WSB. Yeah, what I was thinking is, you know, we spent all this money on all these high-tech weapons that right. kill a lot of people. Right. And we owe all these other, uh, all these other countries owe us a lot of money, why don't we use our weapons and our armies, since we are the only superpower now, get our money back, say, hey, if you don't pay us back our money, we're going to come and take it, and also use that power to make a one-world government. That's right. Just take their real estate. You either give us all the money, or we're just going to claim your real estate. That's right. We now own title to your real estate, and from now on, you are a state. Instead of having 50 states, we'll have 230-something states, right? That's right. What's the big deal? We can do this. We've got the power to do it. Well, we ought to, because, like, when I was living overseas, we couldn't own property. And, like, well, I used to live in Saudi Arabia. We couldn't own their property, but yet they can come here and own property here. So, so we just take it from them and say, now we can own it. Right. See you later, AJ. All right. All right. See you later. Let's go to uh, Mark in Athens. You're on News Talk Radio, AM 750 WSB. Hey, David. Uh, this is a very interesting topic today. Um, Thank you, Mark. What I find particularly interesting about it is you're, you're discussing it on a level as though this is an idea you've come up with, and it's really actually getting ready to happen. It's mm -hmm. planned out for a long time. I wonder, is it about ready to happen, or are we just looking for a select few and just disregard the rest? I mean, it's like, it's like we're playing, we'll pick out the countries that can help us, and just the third world, just, well, to hell with them, they'll be uh, more or less graveyards. My understanding is that by the year 2000, everything is going to be in place. It's been planned out. That's why the Isn't word, that great, though? The word New World Order is on the back of your dollar bill, for those who haven't ever checked that out. Mm -hmm. If you look underneath the pyramid, it says Novus Ordo Seclorum. What does that mean? Uh, it means uh, New Order of the Ages or New World Order. Isn't and that good? Isn't New World, isn't that what it's come to? I think the ultimate idea of it is good, but what, what worries me is, um, are we going to still have a Bill of Rights? Are we still going to be able to have a democracy? Well, see, that's why we have to be the ones that come up with the idea and implement it. I mean, I wouldn't want some communist government to come along and some dictator come to wipe out our government, you know, just cut off our head more or less and just, yeah, well, we wouldn't have anything to say. Well, you know, a couple of weeks ago you were discussing implants. Right. Uh, my understanding is this is part of this whole one world government thing, that there, everyone is going to have an implant. It's going to be a form of... Uh, People that don't want to join the New World Order will not get an implant, and they will be out in the woods and on their own, right. trying to survive on their own, and everyone else will be a part of the New World Order society. I but, want a New World Order. But the frightening thing about that, David, is, is if a government doesn't like you or if you start fighting a government... They've got your, they've got the, uh, you know, your code in a computer, and they can just wipe you out. They can make it so you can't buy any food, you can't buy anything. Don't so, they? All, doesn't the government already have that power? They're pretty close. Aren't I, mean, they? I mean, don't they? Can't they just? I mean, for something to do, wipe out. I mean, wipe out your credit. Wipe out. Really? I mean, wipe you out. I mean, how do I know that when I'm not driving home today and, now right, right. You know, and they arrest me for my finding a pound of cocaine? How do sure. you know that's for real? And people believe whatever they read. If you read about me tomorrow and they found a pound of cocaine in my car, right? Because right, they right. looked at me as a threat. You would believe it. You would believe it because the police force busted people me. People just eat it up. They, they believe would anything eat it up they read in the newspaper. Or if I went off a cliff, right? Right. Or some crazy wild man right, like right. John Lennon, like when John Lennon was murdered. Oh, my gosh, this is just psycho, right? Right, I mean, right. How, how do you know that's for real? You don't know it's for real. But people take it for granted. Well, just people accept what they hear, but it's all just, the government already has that power. Can I just recommend one book to people to read? Sure. Um, it's called America's Secret Society, The Skull and Bones by Anthony Sutton, and it discusses exactly what you're talking about. All right. And it, just, it came out in 1986, and it discusses the new world order that Skull and Bones is getting ready to bring about. And that came out four years before George Bush ever said the words. Right. And also, Behold a Pale Horse by Bill Cooper. See you later. Bye-bye. Let's go to the paper. I'm not giving up. I don't care if I have to knock on every door in this town. I'm going to find my dog. And I'll be right here watching TV. We're going now live to the home of the heartbroken family. That was his dish, and that was his leash, and that's where he took a whiz on the rug. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you have an ounce of compassion, join the search for this poor lost pooch tonight on an all-new Simpsons. Then... 
I was hoping that you could come back to my place. I think that could be arranged. Brandon has a very hot date with an older woman. How old is she? She's got to be at least 23. And he's ready for the time of his life. She's borrowed some of Dad's cologne. Like half the bottle? On 90210, tonight on Fox. Don't miss The Simpsons at 8 and 90210 at 9 tonight on WATL, Atlanta's Fox 36. This Friday, all recreational factory warehouse stores are closing early to prepare for special pricing on all their spas and above-ground swimming pools. The early bird sale starts at 10 a.m. on Saturday and then Sunday at 5 p.m. This is a 14-hour sale that includes special factory direct pricing plus extra early bird pickup discounts of up to $1,000. Pools normally $1,500 this weekend are just $800. Spas that would run for $1,600 are only $900 during this 14-hour special sale. Recreational Factory Warehouse in Norcross, Marietta, and Jonesboro. Special financing with no payments until September of 92. Now, this sale will end at 5 p.m. on Sunday, so don't miss out. Recreational Factory Warehouse includes spas, swimming pools, saunas, and billiard tables. Recreational Factory Warehouse. Norcross, Marietta, and Jonesboro. Hey, Atlanta, we're making another run. Hang on to your seat and have some hot fun. Turn it up the heat. Atlanta, hang on. Hot fun. Back by popular demand. The Atlanta Braves Open House 2. Saturday, March 14th, the National League champions invite you to visit the stadium between 9 and 3 to pick out your very own upper-level season seat and the ticket package that's right for you. Settle back, check out the view, and imagine all the excitement as you prepare for another season of spectacular hot fun. The Braves Open House 2. Enter the stadium through Gator between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Saturday, March 14th. Can't make it? Then call 577-9100 to order by phone. Hot fun, turning up the heat. And the Braves Open House 2, Saturday, March 14th, between 9 and 3. Hi, it's Wes Minner. You want to find out what no-nonsense talk radio is all about? Join me tonight following the basketball game. You'll find out why we're the number one issues-oriented radio talk show in the city. Now more Out to Lunch with David Paul on Atlanta's news, weather, and traffic station. News Talk Radio, AM 750 WSB. Looking forward to it. I can't wait. Oh, boy. Kirk Mellish, tell me about the weather. This afternoon, increasing cloudiness, breezy and warmer. Highs 52 to 59. Mostly cloudy tonight. Some passing snow flurries possible, low 36. Tomorrow, any morning flurries come to a quick and early end. Clearing, breezy and chilly. High 49, low 29. With frequent weather updates, I'm meteorologist Kirk Mellish. In the AM 750, WSB Weather Center. David Paul. Almost 2 o'clock. It's almost 2 o'clock, and I guess something else I'm going to bring up here at 2 o'clock. Is that all right? Something else I want to just run by you just a little lighter, a little bit lighter. But it's just, uh, yeah. It's, it'll, hopefully, hopefully it'll work. Hopefully. you be here at 2 o'clock and just listen. And if you want to participate, participate. Bruce and Marietta, you're on News Talk Radio, AM 750 WSB. Hey, man, what's going on? Hey, you're going on, man. Uh, no doubt. Um... Uh, you were talking about, like, taking a police force? Right. You know what this? Isn't that kind of, like, harsh or something? I mean, you're talking about getting everybody together, but if you're going to take them by force in the end, all in all, why don't you just take everybody by force, no? Well, I don't know. It's This country was kept together during the Civil War by force. I mean, just force, sometimes you have to have it. I mean, that's what how everything came to be is, is force. Force works. Well, why not? Force, I mean, it's, it, it is a, it, it's, a, it's a good solution. Yeah, but why not just, like... Let the people who don't want to join go off on their merry little way, and, and then, I mean, and we're going to be bigger, obviously, than well, they you're are. Right. In a couple of years, they'll be dying to join, right? Yeah. They'll be begging to join. If you don't join, you can't participate, right? Yep. We won't buy from you. We and won't sell to you. If we have you. this new world government, right. then, I mean, they'll want to join in the first that, place, and if they don't, then they will. That is probably right, Bruce. That is probably right. If you have 60% of the world mm -hmm. all as one, the other 40% eventually will fall in line, right? Yeah. And they, they will beg to be part of it. Yep. Right? Yep. That's true. Very good, Bruce. Thank you, Bruce. Sure. So why don't we do it? How come we don't do it? How come we don't become one? How come? How come nobody does this? How come? Because you know why I think? Because President Bush wants his job. 
Uh, the vice president wants his job. Our congressmen want their jobs. Everybody, the kings on the other side of the planet, want their jobs. Right? The little dictators, right? The little... Everybody wants their job. And because it's always such a, it's such a selfish motive, nobody would ever come up with a better idea because it's not in their best interest to do so. Michael in Decatur, you're on AM 750 WSB. Yes, I, uh, I want to tell you something. Like, you know, the government in here, in the United States, allow investors to move, uh, uh, you know, the business overseas and pay people uh, a dollar a day to work, no insurance, no nothing. Right, right. And, uh, you know, you ask yourself, you know, those little country always going to be in debt. You know, they always, uh, you know... Uh, That's true. They, they will always suffer. Right. So you ask yourself, you know, uh, you know, how... They, they're not going... Uh, they don't want no union in the world. They don't want the world to unionize. They simply or, that, want to abuse you, you and know, use the third world. That's market. true. That's true, Michael. Yeah, big business would stand in the way of this, wouldn't they? <laughs> because right now they can abuse the little country. Yes. Not give them any insurance, give them a dollar a day, right? Yes. And make unlimited profits. Yes. Okay, thank right. you. You're right. See you later, Michael. He was right. Let's go to John. Hello, John. Forest Park. You're on AM 750 WSB. Hello, Dave. Hello. Dave, you're right. There is going to be a world government. Heck yes. I know there is, man. How do you know there is? Because it started with the collapse of the Soviet Union. You know that. Right. And i tell you something, though. There's one bad point about it. What? It speaks of all religions, man. When this world government comes around, there's going to be a holocaust before the government's formed. Ah, and when the government's right. formed, yeah. the Antichrist is coming. Brady. Yeah, yeah, right. All right, you may be already be here, John. All right, 872-0750 is my number. Something a little different next hour. I'm David Paul. Stick around. Driving up 85. And then I'm coming to, what is it, Tom Moreland Interchange. You know, Spaghetti Junction. And I'm driving on 85. And then 200 feet above me, I'm looking up. And this was this happened the other day. 200 feet above me on the top lane. And i got to drive right underneath this. There is a 18-wheeler. I mean, just sitting there, sitting there. And i got to drive underneath it. Doesn't that make you nervous? I'm, does that bother you at all? Have you ever gone over Spaghetti Junction? Have you ever gone over the top lane and then driving with your car and just looking? It's, is that, does that bother you at all? Am I the only one that bothers? Am I the only one that's kind of jumpy? I keep thinking when I'm going up and just, oh, okay, just get through it, Dave. Just get through it. All right, get to the other side, Dave. Just get to the other side. All right, the, the, the tires are, you know, they're bald and everything, but odds are you're not going to have a blowout now, Dave. You're not going to have a blowout now. But what if the guy next to you has a blowout? What if the guy you're driving up, you're going up Tom Moral Interchange, you're on the top loop, right? You're on the top one, 200 feet off the ground. And then the guy next to you just, oh, he's been drinking. Oh, yeah, just been drinking. Oh, my gosh. Do you think stuff like that? Does stuff like that make you nervous? Doesn't that make you, I mean, does not, am I the only one that bothers? Am I the only one that gets a little jumpy going over that thing? That bothers me. I'm, it really does. I am not comfortable with it. I am not comfortable going over big bridges. I am not comfortable at all. I get, I'm telling you, I really, it bothers me. Does it bother you? What makes you jumpy? What makes you kind of nervous? You know what else makes me kind of nervous, kind of jumpy? Elevators. Elevators. Especially in, in like 20-story uh, buildings. I go to an elevator. I mean, it's really weird. You're getting into a box. You're getting into a box with a cable on the top of it. When's the last time that cable's been checked? That makes me nervous. I get kind of jumpy. Oh, man, I'm just, then this thing they starts going up. How do they know when to change it? When it falls and a bunch of people get killed? Oh, well, we better change the cable. Does that bother you at all? Does that make you nervous? Does that make you kind of jumpy? Is that one of your phobias? Is that a phobia, getting into an elevator? You know what another thing that bothers me? Well, you got to give me some, too. 872 things. 872 Some things that just bother you and make you kind of jumpy. Some things that just make you, oh, my God. Oh, yeah, Dave, this is, this is it. What makes you jumpy? Just tell me something that makes you a little bit uncomfortable. You know what? Going up an escalator. You go up to an escalator, and I've got my, my sneakers on. And, I'll, oh, and I just, you know, you got your kids, too, and you... 
you just think, my gosh, what happens if it caught? It caught one of your shoelaces, and at the top it starts pulling you in, and it turns you into ground hamburger. It turns you into ground hamburger. Boy, it makes me nervous. Does that make you nervous? Am I the only one here that gets a little nervous over that? It makes me nervous. I get kind of jumpy. Stuff like that. But really, the spaghetti junction, that really makes me nervous. I mean, that just, I'm, it really does. Every time I drive up to it, and if I have to go up that big one, the big one, I'm just, I, okay, Dave, just get through it, Dave. Just just get through it. You'll be, you'll be through with it in just a second. I mean, I would be terrified. You know what I think? I come up, I'm going down, let's say, Pleasant Hill, and I'm over the top, the top of 85. I mean, I'm on the, like, bridge that goes over 85 to make a left onto 85, okay? But I'm on Pleasant Hill, and I'm at a light, and I'm on top of this bridge over 85. You can feel it move. I can feel it move. And my car feels like it's not my car. You can feel it move. I just think, oh, my gosh, what if right now this is the time? This is the big one. This is where just the whole thing collapsed, and we just fall into a lane of traffic. That makes me nervous. That makes me nervous. I'm not saying I'm not, I mean, I'm completely, completely out of control. I mean, I'm functional. I can go out in society and everything. I have no problems with it at all. But there's certain things that just, golly, golly, that just elevators, just no. No, I'm not comfortable. If it's only six stories up, I'll, I'll do the stairs. No big deal. No big deal. You know, but if it's 40 stories, well, okay, I guess I, guess I got to. I guess I got to do the, the elevator. But, I, man, it just, and then, oh, my gosh. I mean, a cable, a lousy primitive cable is holding me up. 872-0750 is our number. What makes you nervous? Let's go to Larry and ask Larry in Decatur. Hello, Larry. You're How you doing? All, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. How are you, Larry? Oh, just fine. Uh, so, Dave, so what makes you a little nervous? Well, I, I've had the opportunity to... Uh, I've seen this myself. I'm not going to mention any companies or whatever. Right, right. But uh, don't mention any companies. Yeah. I won't. I won't. Uh, Stone Mountain Park, the cable. Oh yeah, right. Uh, I've never been on it. Well, and I, but I've been to Stone Mountain a lot. I've I've been on it several times until I saw how the cable ends up at the end, on the top of the mountain. I worked for a company that uh, was doing some contract work up there, and I got to see how that cable comes into the building and is wrapped around an old rotten wooden spool with some rusty clamps. Oh my gosh. And, of course, this has been uh, four or five years ago. I don't know if they've improved it. But uh, since then, I've never, never ride that. But I'd rather walk up the mountain. Yeah, I'd rather walk up the mountain, too. I'm not, I'm not, into, I'm not into heights. Yeah, right. Well, I mean, it, the height doesn't bother me. But, uh, I mean, accidents only happen once. I'm not, I won't ride horses, either. I will not get on a horse's back. I'm scared of horses. I will not get on a horse. I will not do it. Well, a horse can sense if you're scared. Yeah, and then it tries to bite you in the leg or something. Exactly. I mean, this is a wild animal. This is a beast, right? And I'm sitting on top of a beast. I'm not about to sit on a beast. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a man, and I just I, re I like my life, right? <laughs> I mean, who knows? This horse can start going 90 miles an hour in some direction, right? Well, last time I got on a horse, he headed for the trees. Right. I went on a horse like an idiot. I mean, first, I mean, last, I never ride a horse. I went on a horse. I went up to uh, uh, Smoky Mountains. We had to go on one of these trail rides. And, uh, and here, the idiot in front of me, the idiot in front of me, and he was on tour, and I'm just holding on for dear life. And he made some joke, oh, the last two just fell over the side here. Because we're on the side of a mountain, he's, oh, the poor last two, they, I'm telling you, just, he said it to the wrong guy. I almost, I mean, I almost started crying like a baby. Well, you know, all you, right, it was embarrassing. You know, you're talking about that, uh, yeah. freeway. Uh, you know, they had one section that when their construction was going on, that it fell. Yeah, great. Good. Thanks for telling me that, Larry. Hey. See you later, Larry. Yeah. All right, Kay in Duluth, you're on News Talk Radio AM 750 WSB. Hey, Dave. What, what makes you nervous? Hi, right, but I wish you hadn't told me that about the bridge. The bridge? Yeah, I don't like that bridge either. You know the one I'm talking about? Which, yes. which bridge am I talking Which one is that? The overpass, Spaghetti Junction. Oh, my gosh. I hate it. God, I hate it. I, I can't believe that you said that about Pleasant Hill, because I work where you frequent and I drive that way to work every day, and I thought it was my car. I thought it was, it was my car. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? When you're sitting, yeah. you're, going, you're going like towards Gwinnett Mall. Yeah. And you're sitting on top of it at the light, uh, and you can feel it move. It, you can I, feel I really, it move. I thought it was my car, and I was looking right. around other cars to see if they were moving. My gosh. And I'm just, I mean, oh, my God. Get me over this. Get me, just get me through and it. If you think, okay, rush hour traffic, what if this bridge collapses? What if it collapses? Would I rather be in the median? I've, I've seen before driving on 85, 18 wheels. Stopped 
stop dead on that top loop on uh, Tom Moreland overpass. Isn't that horrible? It was terrible. Isn't that horrible? Have you ever been going around it? And an 18 wheelers beside you, and he's probably yep. doing about 65, and the wind's blowing. It's horrible. Can't, thank you, Kay. Bye. See you later, Kay. Bye. Oh, my gosh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Let's go to uh, Randy and Alpharetta. You're on News Talk Radio, AM 750 WSB. Hey, Randy. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good, Randy. Have you ever been to the top of the Marriott Marquis and overlooking the atrium? No, I have not. Oh, it's terrible. It's awesome. It's terrible, huh? I can't do it. My knees shake. You need to do that. Yeah. David. Yeah, here, do what? Go, go to the, the top of the Marriott. atrium? Yeah. Just You don't have to register. Just go in the, uh, the Marriott and go to the top floor. Go to the top floor. Go over to where the plants are and look look over. I bet mm. you can't do it. Bet you can't. Is it that bad? Oh, it is. Well, I'll have to check it out. Yeah. No, I would, I don't, I'm not into heights at all. I uh, won't even go on my own roof. Uh, I'm afraid I send my kids up there. I can fly all right, though. I get my five-year-old to go up there and get the branches. Go get the branches. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm not about to do it. You don't you like heights at all, huh? Uh, no. No. Not unless I have a glass, you know, between me and the... Right. ...looking down. That's right. I'm not in, not into it at all. No. Not all right, at see, all. See you later. Okay. Bye. bye. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. So what, what makes you nervous, man? What scares you? Man, what makes you uncomfortable? That's what I'm asking. What, what is it out there that just bothers you? I'm David Paul, AM 750 WSB. We know you don't have time to mess around. That's why AM 750 WSB gives you the news you need first and fast. News you can use about Atlanta, your neighborhood, your money, your health, family, and, well, just stuff that's important. No fluff, no wasting your time. So check in two, three, or four times every day and depend on it first and fast. From AM 750 WSB. You know, the one thing you never forget about growing up in the city is the neighborhoods. The whole town was like a patchwork quilt of neighborhoods. I remember the people who took care of us when we were kids. Mrs. Rose at school and Terry down at the bike shop. But most of all, Dr. Kavanaugh. He was the man who brought me into this world and the family doctor to everybody in the neighborhood. Goodies makes you feel so good. Doctor has been an American institution for generations, someone you can believe in. Now, when family doctors from across the country were asked which pain relief formula they preferred, the one in Goody's headache powders or the one in BC, those doctors not only preferred Goody's, they preferred Goody's 3 to 1. Feel good, goodbye pain. Goody's, the South's number one headache powder. Goody's makes you feel so good. I get up this morning, jump into the shower, turn the hot water knob, and nothing. Not what I was in the mood for. Then on the drive to work, I spend 45 minutes sitting in a traffic jam next to some old guy whose radio is cranked up louder than any teenager's, and he's playing this Bavarian polka. Not what I was in the mood for. Then, after a morning of work, my friend turns to me and says, Hey... Let's head for Del Taco. Now that's what I was in the mood for. Great Mexican food, like the new Del Taco gourmet burritos. Your choice of sizzling steak or chicken fajita, piled high with fresh lettuce, tomato, grilled onions, sour cream, and real cheddar cheese, and wrapped in a soft flour tortilla. And now at Del Taco, you can get a steak or chicken fajita burrito with Mexi fries for only $2.99. Del Taco, when you're in the mood for great Mexican food. Today we're here to demonstrate the difference between this tennis racket, the revolutionary Wilson Hammer 2.7, and this, the new Wilson Hammer 4.0. Both have a patented waiting system giving them the biggest sweet spots in tennis. The Wilson Hammer 2.7, however, is designed for players with slower swings. Well, the Wilson Hammer 4.0 is for players with faster swings. Now, if you can't tell the difference between this and this, maybe you need professional help. For a limited time, discover which of the revolutionary Wilson Hammers is right for you with our exclusive electronic swing speed analyzer, available at selected local pro shops. You'll get a free can of U.S. Open balls when you take a shot. And you'll discover if you're a... Or maybe a... 
Test your swing today at your serve. Rivermont Country Club, Tennis Etc., Lob and Volley, and Cherokee Country Club. Hey, David, Clark Howard here. Join me tomorrow morning, 9 to 11, for your consumer questions, 11 to 12, for your travel ones on the Friday Flyer. Now more with David Paul on Atlanta's News Weather and Traffic Station, News Talk Radio, AM 750, WSB. Thank you. Kirk Mellish, tell me about the weather. Okay, David, some flurries or passing sprinkles possible by tonight into first thing tomorrow morning, but nothing to worry about. High this afternoon in the 50s, high tomorrow around 49. With frequent weather updates, I'm meteorologist Kirk Mellish in the AM 750 WSB Weather Center. Back. We're back. That's right. We're back. What makes you nervous? And, and old Jules here is just, just dying to say something. He just, well, well go ahead, Jules. Go ahead. It's not you... that I wanted to say it on the air. It's just that I was, I just to have something. I was just saying that to you. What? But I'll say it. Go ahead. Say it. Closed spaces. What? Like closed in, being real closed in. Closed spaces. in spaces. I have this fear, and I, you'll probably think this is silly, but I have this fear of like being put in a sleeping bag the wrong way. See, because when I was younger, me and a, a friend of mine, we used to pretend like we were monsters in a sleeping bag. And, you know, I'd crawl my head in first and then stand up, and you were like this sleeping bag monster. And one day I got I got trapped in there, and I couldn't get out. So I got this, this fear of closed spaces and getting in the sleeping bag the wrong way. I wonder if anybody else has that. Thanks, Jules. What? Thank you. You're welcome. Steve in Duluth, you're on AM 750 WSB. Hey, Dave, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, Steve. i tell you what makes me real nervous. When you're sitting in rush hour traffic, and you look in your rearview mirror, and there's a woman putting on makeup while she's trying to drive. Scary, scary. Uh, that makes me so nervous. I'm so scared she's going to hit me or right. stab herself in the eye. Right. <laughs> and, and there you go. There you go, Steve. Right. That's true. That, yeah, it happens it, all the time. I, I bet a lot of wrecks are caused that way. Yeah, they are. I mean, put up, put on the makeup on the way to work. You're supposed to do that before you and, leave. And then home. they got a cup, cup of coffee up on the dashboard. Exactly. Right. And it's uh, some guys. I've seen people look like newspapers. They look like newspapers in their right hand. Trying they're, they're, to read. They're driving and they're trying to read something. Or trying to shave. What a scary world, Steve. It's scary. It's boy, it's dangerous coming to work, isn't it? Sure is. It is. You just yeah, you gotta kiss the woman every morning, you know. Just <laughs> this could be it, honey. I'm going out there. This could be it, right? That's right. All right, see you later. See you, Dave. Uh, Jimmy, you're on AM seven fifty WSB. Hey Dave. Yeah, uh, hey. You know, that car thing when you start think looking at people what they're doing in their car. Right. You know how it scares you to death? scares you, yeah. You know, it, it, I, I bet every day you go home or you're going into work, you're going to look over and some guy's picking his nose. That's right. You know what? Doesn't yeah. that scare you? What, picking his nose? You don't know where, where he's going to where he's going to stick his finger next. You know what I mean? Only, only, Isn't yeah. That, I bet you're, you're dying of curiosity, though, right, Jimmy? It's a, uh, yeah, right. Uh, go ahead and drift off in your own little world there. Mike in Covington, you're on AM 750 WSB. Uh, yeah, Dave. Hey. Uh, I'm a long-time listener, but first-time caller. Well, gr it's nice to have you. Yeah, good to talk to you. Right. Uh, yeah, what really makes me nervous, well, going over Spaghetti Junction up there, that gets to me a hey, lot, that, too. Does that, that, I'm not the only, I thought I was the only one. I mean, <laughs> I guess I'm not the only one. No. I mean, I'm uncomfortable with it. Yeah, I drive for a local record company here in Atlanta. Right. And I go up through there all the time. You do? It really makes me draw up when I cross. Does Crossover it? You do there. get uncomfortable. Yeah. Golly. Okay. I'll tell you something else that gets to me, too. What? Is, uh, say, like on I-20, anywhere inside 285. Right. Where the emergency lane is very narrow there. Mm -hmm. Is, uh, well, I drive a flatbed wrecker, and you have to stand on the side where the controls. Anytime I pick up a car that broke down out through there. Right. The traffic coming by, boy, they'll just about clip you. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's that's something to think. If I broke there. if I broke down an eighty five, I'd desert the car. I, <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I mean, I don't care if it's just a minor flat. I wouldn't fix it. I'd desert the car. I'd have a tow truck get it. I mean, I wouldn't. It's too dangerous. Right. It is just too daggum dangerous. I mean, I wouldn't. I'd say goodbye to the car. It ain't, it ain't worth my life. That's for sure. Right. Yeah. I, right. I would on any major highway. I would because a lot of people are killed that way. That's you know, changing sure. a tire out there. Yep. Won't happen. Won't happen. I'll say goodbye, car. 
a good buy car, right? And, right. and then write it, let, let the insurance company worry about it when somebody rips it off or something. That's it. Right. All right. See you later. All right. Bye. All right. Let's go to uh, Wayne. Hello, Wayne. You're on AM 750 WSB. But today. So what scares you, hey, Wayne? Oh, well, nothing. I, I've made elevators fall. Let's go to Richard. Hello, Richard. You're on AM 750 WSB. Hey, Dave. Hey, Richard. What scares me? Dave. Hello. Yeah, Richard. What scares me is being in the bedroom making sex with a good-looking woman and my wife that you walk in the bedroom. Yeah, only you're in your dreams, loser. Only in your dreams. Right. 872-0750. Let's go to uh, Katie. Hello, Katie. Hey, Dave. Hey, Katie. I am scared of fat women. Why are you scared of fat women? When I was three years old, my Aunt Rosa, well, she sat on me. And ever since then, every time I see one about to fall down, I just get weak in the knees, Dave. I got caught in an elevator with one one time. Mm. Yeah. So because some um, your fat aunt sat on you when you are a kid, you, now you're uneasy around fat women. Very. Uh-huh. Okay, Katie, thanks for sharing that with us. Thank you, Dave. Bye, Katie. Bye. Okay. 872-0750. What makes you nervous? What scares you? That's what I'm doing right now. I'm David Paul, News Talk Radio, AM 750 WSB. Let's see just how rude. Comes in here and just unbelievable. I'm, you know, trying to have a good time, good, try to have a good time, invite somebody off the street to come on in here, and then, then they behave in that way. Just unbelievable. <laughs> You know, I mean, just you're giving them a, uh, wow, just I, I never expected somebody to behave that way. So, here we are, it's ten minutes after three now, it's a minute later than when I started. So, what do you want to do? I know what I want to do, let me, right now I'm, I have a few calls lined up, so I wanted to get to those people, because that's, they were on hold talking about things that, that just bother you, things that make you uncomfortable. It's like a phobia. What are you scared of? What scares you? What scares me is going over, you know, under the spaghetti junction, you know, the Tom Moreland interchange, and, and, and going over the top one. Oh, God, that makes me uncomfortable. Even going under the bottom of it and having some, see some 18-wheeler above you, that just terrifies me. It terrifies me. I can't stand it. It makes me so uncomfortable. Going up an elevator makes me uncomfortable. Getting into an elevator and everybody's just cramming into it. My gosh! The only time they know to change those cables is when it crashes, is when it breaks. That's when they change it. How do they look at it? They don't. They never even look at it. They just assume it's, I won't do it. I won't do it. Mm, no way. That scares me. Big dog sitting in my driveway and a big dog sitting there. So let me go to these calls. I have some calls lined up, and as soon as that ends, I want to go back to the question that I asked at the very beginning of the show. And that question was, one world government, isn't that what we should, isn't that what we should just donate our life to? Isn't that what we should strive towards? What were they did 200 years ago? One world government, isn't that what we all should strive for? There's, that's the most brilliant idea out there. I mean, right now we want a world order, out, uh, don't we? We have got to give something back. Just like 200 years ago when they formed the government we have now. They took 13 individual colonies and they made one government. We need to take the 230-some individual colonies we have in the world today and make one go world government. We have got to do it. We have no choice. That has got to be our contribution. It has got to come from us, start right here in Atlanta, and then move forward. Forward, one world government. We have got to have it. We have got. If it means half the lives in the world are, are sacrificed for it, we have got to have one world government. That's right. One world government. I want to get back to that in just a minute, okay? Okay. Let's go to Paul and Marietta. Hello, Paul. Hey, hello, David. What, you have something you're uncomfortable with? Well, yes, I agree with you about the the elevators and our bridges don't bother me that much, but elevators and I don't like driving in my car when the tank is on empty. Well, why don't, if you don't like it, why don't you put gas in it? Well, it uses gas like, just like that. What kind of That's mileage a, do you get? About 13 miles. Well, why long. don't you trade it in? You're losing money. I know. Someday I will. And, a, you know, someday I will. And another thing that really drives me crazy is mm -hmm. thunderstorms. I just do not like thunderstorms, tornadoes, all that stuff. 
I like those. Well, I like the view, I and like, I like no, the I mean, thunder, but I think I, they in, make me nervous when they get bad. I, it bothers me when I see my yard eroding away. <laughs> that kind of bothers me a little bit. When I go out there and some of my some of my more dirt is gone, that kind of frustrates me a little bit. But That's right. All right. Hey, thanks, Paul. Have a good see evening. See ya. All right. David in Conyers, you're on AM 750 WSB. Hey, Dave. Hey, Dave. How you doing? Pretty good. How are you? Oh, fine. Yes, what's what's happening with you? Oh, man, these stupid people that cut over in front of you without any blinkers or anything, and then when they get over there, if they do use a blinker, you know, they won't never cut the blinker off. It just stays blink, blink, blink. Those are people who scare you? They scare me to death. You never know what they're going to do That makes next. you uncomfortable, huh? Very uncomfortable. Yeah, I know what you mean. I understand now why people go psycho in traffic. Yeah, I do. I understand, ah, oh, just lose their mind, right? Yeah, I'd I'm beginning. Out. I'm beginning to relate to it a little bit. Uh huh. That everybody, you know, they've got these truck drivers taking CDL tests and all now. Right. Well, before you can get a driver's license for a car, you should drive around 285 for one hour. Right. And then, and uh, then, if you can make it, you know, you can get a license for to drive a car. Right. Because if those, you can make it. If you can make it. Right. You know what we ought to do with 285? We ought to shut it down one day of the year and have a big race on it. Yeah. I mean, invite people and just bring your stock cars and entry fees and, you know what I mean, build stands on the side of it. We've got a great big loop here. We could have a big track. Yeah, we get... We get the Atlanta 10,000-mile the Atlanta run, right? Yeah, right. We get, uh, get Bill to be the flagman. Bill to be the flagman. Yeah. All right. See you later. Okay. Bye. Tom. Lithia Springs, you're on AM 750 WSB. Hey, Dave. Hey, Tom. Uh, I'm a courier, and I drive around all night, you know, right. listening to your show. I only get a list of the tapes, so it's kind of frustrating when I don't get a call in. Though. Well, to hell with my sleep. I'll start coming in live every night. How's that? That'll yeah. work. I'll start doing that. Yeah, live. That'll work. Is there a difference? Excuse me? Is there a difference, live and tape, you think? Well, yeah. All night? Big difference. Yeah, I know. Because they put in a lot of filler music and stuff. Oh, do they really? Yeah. Uh, some yeah. of it's cool, but some of it's kind of bogus. I do. What am I supposed to do? They gave me a better job. What was I supposed to do, Tom? I don't know. I'd want a day job, too. You know, you know. have you noticed that night shift has the same initials as no sleep? Isn't that weird? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that, no, I didn't notice that. And the it? same initials as no sex, too, but anyway. It, yeah, that's, boy, oh, boy, that's true, Tom. Hey, <laughs> gub, Tom, that's right. But anyway, yeah. doing all this driving, I drive around like 12, 13 hours a night. Right. When you get going down the road and you're going 70 miles an hour and there's a semi on each side of you, <laughs> and six inches away from your face, there's this whirling mass of lug nuts, and all he's got, all he's got to do is drop a cigarette or spill his coffee and jerk, and you're just history. You're, 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 you know, you're, that's right. And they probably wouldn't even notice it for a while. No, they, you wouldn't even feel it. No, they, wouldn't, mean, they wouldn't even know it until they stopped the truck and they saw something. You know, right. Dang, there's a truck up underneath here. That, My it's all gosh. Messed up. That's, oh, that's a horrible thought. You're right, Tom. Oh, something else, too? What? Please don't have any more loser geeks like Mark on the show well, anymore. I just, you know, I give this guy an opportunity. I bring him down here, and he treats me like scum. He, he makes me look bad in front of my audience. He humiliates me, embarrasses me, no, right? No, he didn't. He looked bad himself. Did he did himself he, looked bad. Now I really look good. Is that it? Well, you just, your patience was admirable. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. But, but uh, he was such a loser, he was too ashamed to admit where he worked. Did you notice yeah, that? Yeah, well, I didn't want to be bothered, I guess. All right, see you later. Thanks, Dave. All right, I'll see you later, Tom. All right, yeah, 8720750. <gasps> One world government. We have got to give something back, all right? 200 years ago, they formed, a, they formed a government, a centralized government. We have got to do the same thing on a bigger scale. If one-fourth of the human race was wiped out, but we've set up a system, we set up a system that would last for eternity, and a system that would be just, I mean, life would go on, the planet would survive, the human race would survive, that is what we want. Isn't that what we want? Heck, yes, that's what we want. We have got to do it. One world government, we've got to sacrifice our lives for it. Eight seven two zero seven fifty. That is our meaning. You're looking for a meaning in your life. This is the meaning. This is it. Let's give our lives to this cause. Let's do it. Come on, stand up and say yes, Dave. That's the cause. One world government. Eight seven two zero seven fifty. I'm David Paul. This is News Talk Radio AM seven fifty WSB. Atlanta's morning news Thursday March twelfth. News Talk Radio AM seven fifty WSB reports the folks back home are angry over that House bank. They're mixing tar and boiling feathers. Lieutenant uh, Governor uh, Howard uh, on ethics legislation. I specifically asked them not to let that. Audrina Vitt didn't keep her obscene fan mail. You understand that I just. 
did not want it to keep... I'm Dave Folk, and I'm Bob Cox. Tomorrow, weather and traffic every six minutes, and an update on Jimmy Carter's efforts to improve Atlanta neighborhoods. Start your day with Atlanta's morning news here on News Talk Radio, AM 750, WSB. Depends on it. Attention, antiques lovers. This weekend, it's the Lakewood Antiques Market, named Best Antique Show in Atlanta by Atlanta Magazine. Three big days of shopping for treasures at the historic Lakewood Fairgrounds. 1,200 antique dealers are back at the Lakewood Fairgrounds with hundreds of truckloads of fine antiques and collectibles. These dealers have been searching through attics, basements, and barns all over America to bring you valuable, interesting, and useful items, including antique furniture, jewelry, crystal, china, iron and brass beds, antique lighting, margelica, and much more. This weekend, when you think of antiques, there is only the Lakewood Antiques Market. It's unlike any antiques and collectibles market you've ever experienced. Over six acres of interesting and unusual items, all at bargain prices. Enjoy a fun day of browsing through treasures of the past and looking for that special item this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Don't miss Georgia's oldest and largest show and sale. Now voted Atlanta's best by Atlanta Magazine. It's the Lakewood Antiques Market. Take exit 88 East off I-75 and I-85 to the fairgrounds and the Lakewood Antiques Market. The fun place to be. This is Audi Watch. New car challenges Japanese. At this year's Tokyo Auto Show, the Avus Quattro from Audi stole the show with its 509 horsepower engine and 0 to 60 time of less than 3 seconds. Since Audi is rumored to be creating only a limited number of this exotic car for Europe, import car buyers may want to consider Audi's other, more practical new model, the Audi 100 V6. Judging by the response to the new 100, Audi may find it has created an automobile that rivals Lexus and Acura. As the editors of Road & Track point out, the new Audi is more affordable and has driving personality and road course character all over the legend. Those currently looking at Japanese sedans would be wise to test drive the new Audi 100 and draw their own conclusions. This is Amy O'Connor for Audi Watch. To arrange for a test drive or to obtain more information on the all-new Audi 100 V6, call 1-800-4-AUDI. In Atlanta, the future is now when it comes to quality medical care. Atlanta Medical, with a state-of-the-art facility, features a team of 48 physicians offering more than 20 specialties and committed to service and care. Atlanta Medical at 897-1010 is that big building you see from I-7585 at 10th Street in Midtown. Atlanta Medical is the premier multi-specialty physician group in town and has been providing quality medical care since 1925. Atlanta Medical extends its services to include occupational Health Atlanta, committed to high quality, service, and value. Atlanta Medical also offers an immediate care center, open weekdays 8 to 8 and from 9 to 2 Saturdays with no appointment necessary. Atlanta Medical, with three growing satellite locations at West Paces Ferry, North Fulton, and Jonesboro Family Practice. At Atlanta Medical, caring for you has been our business for over 65 years. Our focus is your health with all your medical needs provided under one roof. Atlanta Medical, 897-1010. Hi, it's Wes Spinner. You want to find out what no-nonsense talk radio is all about? Join me tonight following the basketball game. You'll find out why we're the number one issues-oriented radio talk show in the city. Now more Out to Lunch with David Paul on Atlanta's news, weather, and traffic station. News Talk Radio, AM 750 WSB. I can't wait to hear it. I can't wait to hear it tonight. Kirk Mellish, tell me about the weather. This afternoon, increasing cloudiness, breezy and warmer, highs 52 to 59. Mostly cloudy tonight, some passing snow flurries possible, low 36. Tomorrow, any morning flurries come to a quick and early end. Clearing, breezy and chilly, high 49, low 29. With frequent weather updates, I'm meteorologist Kirk Mellish in the AM 750 WSB Weather Center. To the phones. Let's go to David in Canton. Hello, David. You're on AM 750 WSB. Dave? Hey, Dave. You are a visionary. That's what I do, Dave. You are, seriously. I, 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 I look at a problem and I find an answer. I know. Well, this new world order has got to be the thing. You're ahead of your time. That's right. Well, it will. We're, it's going to happen. It's just, yeah, I, I can see into the future. I just know what we need. And eventually somebody else well, will see what we need and it will happen. Well, I want to help you on this. How are we going to help me? I know who the manager needs to be. Who should the manager be? He can rise up out of the turmoil and lead us to the dog. Right. And he, he ain't got a lot of, um, you know, he's got a lot of spare time to do it in. Right. His name is Jerry Yandel. 
Jerry. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't do anything else except study the TV guy, exactly. right? Exactly. I think he'd be our man, don't you? That's right. Yeah, call him up over there at the Atlanta Journal and give him some ideas. Tell yeah, him what's on every, TV tomorrow. You know, I thought he would at least mention something about you today in the column, and he didn't. Well, I checked it. Well, his column didn't exist today more. It was just like half a little, half a little nothing, right? No, I know. I think he was upset. Well, the poor guy. I mean, just come on. I mean, wouldn't you be frustrated if all you did is read the TV guide over and over yeah. and over and over and every week? Okay, my research is I got to get the new TV guide, right? <laughs> oh, got to get the new TV guide so I can research next week. The poor guy, the poor guy. That's our man, Dave. All right, see you later, Dave. See you. Bye, Bye, man. Let's go to Stan. Hello, Stan. You're on AM 750 WSB. David Paul. Stan. I got to tell you something, my friend. I listen to you every day. Mm-hmm. Half the time, I don't think you have both oars in the water. Right. But you're on to something here. One you're on to world something. government. One world government. One but I, world government. But the only problem with the word government, David, is it gives all these politicians a license to steal. That's right. They're all stealing on well, a lower level well, right now. But if you, if you create a world government, well, okay. you're going to have bigger thieves. Government, a one world management system. We want we want the whole world managed on one. You know what I mean. We want David, to be on one field. David, did you see the movie Rollerball with James Conn? Great movie, great movie. You one remember, of my one of my favorites. Different, different places in the world were run by private businesses. Mm-hmm. They controlled it. It wasn't a government, but it was run free enterprise. Well, that's what it's got to be. See, you don't realize that's the way it is now. God, I mean, Wait. corporations run you now. You don't. No, you don't. David, David, the government's no, are running. No, they're you, driving no. us. You don't so realize it. You, you don't realize that. See, just everybody that writes in the paper, I mean, talk show hosts and everything, they're at the mercy of big corporations. A big corporation with their advertising and controlling dollars can control what you read and what you hear. You're at their mercy. Everything you see on television, everything. You don't believe we're at the mercy of the government, the propaganda? No, the government, I think, is the puppets of corporation. Corporations own the government. They control by by their uh, by their donations and everything they control and own the politicians they own it all well you hit the nail on the head a couple of weeks ago when you said get rid of the politicians let the people vote by phone absolutely print on the tv but you that... know the end the people have to run the government we've got too many businessmen in government you're right it's all attorneys they make the laws to suit themselves that's right see and you later good good talking to you hey david Mm-hmm. Hang in there, man. I'm right behind you. All right. See you later. Let's go to the phone now and talk to Mark. You're on AM 750 WSB, Mark. What is going oh, on Mark, today? Mark, you were on yesterday. You shouldn't be on again today. What, what? I can't pass this up. No, Mark. This is... No, you were on yesterday, Mark. This is sick. I brought what? you down here. Now what do you want? I want to know how people are even halfway buying this concept. Why didn't, you, why didn't you bring this up yesterday when I was there? Uh, one world government is the future, Mark. It See, is you're, stupid. you're a child and you it, don't realize this. It is stupid. We, it takes us 30 years to win this Cold War. Or never. We, we run the communists straight into the ground, and now we're supposed to give it all back? That's right. We spend a hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of billion, uh, billions of dollars to win this, and now we're supposed to say, here, all you people that live in those grass shanties, now you can run with us. All you people that that is, eat, you're absolutely with, right. You're with, absolutely right. You are on drugs. You're Dave. absolutely you, right. Again. And, and you sit here and you're, tell, you're talking about this. Everybody needs to be on the same field. Everybody's not good enough to play on the same field. Don't you understand that, Mark? We have what, to what we have to problem? make the field equal, the field and then get, not, go from there. You cannot make a field equal. Everybody well, cannot run together. A Mark, one world government. You don't, you don't what, love what you your fellow to, man, do you? You just I, don't give don't, a damn about your fellow man. I don't do you? give a damn about somebody who lives right. in a grass hut and eats rice sandwiches. I didn't, I didn't realize what a cold and sensitive human being that's you are, Mark. Cold, that's reality. You make me sick, Mark. You sit there. What, right. what do y'all want to do? Go get go get a paycheck and only bring home eighty percent. 20% of it because somebody else needs a new home That's to live That's already in. the way it works, Mark. No, it's not. No, you Mark. I- I- instead of you're already paying 40% out of your tax dollar our with everything, instead of building nuclear weapons, that money would be going to help the poor on the other side of the planet. Our taxes are one of the lowest tax uh, rates in the world yeah, today. Right. Well, how low right. do you want them to be? Mark. I want people to, we run the world now. We won the Cold War. We are the most powerful country uh, on the planet. I, I swear I thought I disposed of yesterday. All right, thanks, Mark. See you later, Mark. God. God, I thought I got rid of that guy yesterday. All right, because this is a plague. It's a plague on the Dave Paul Show. David Paul, News Talk Radio, AM 750, WSB. If you're getting close to buying a new car, make your best deal at the very big deal. The Atlanta Journal-Constitution International Auto Show. 
March 11th through 15th at the Georgia World Congress Center. See, shop, and compare from hundreds of 1992 cars, light trucks, and vans. And making its Atlanta debut, the new Civilian Hummer, the ultimate off-road vehicle. From around the world to Atlanta comes the widest selection of wheels, all under one roof. So come and make your best deal at America's top buying auto show. Discount coupons available at all Kroger supermarkets, BP gas stations, and participating new car dealers. It's all at the Auto Show, March 11th through the 15th. It's just too big a deal to miss. Meet the stars at the Auto Show. Race car legend Richard Petty will appear on Friday from 6 to 7.30 p.m. Then you can meet Atlanta Hawks players on Saturday and Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. Only at the Auto Show. It's Macy's Warehouse Sale, this Saturday only, from 7.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. with warehouse savings on furniture, rugs, great name bedding, save on electronics, TVs, VCRs, stereo, CD players, and more. Take I-75 to Howell Mill Road to Ellsworth Industrial Boulevard. For total home savings, it's Macy's Warehouse Sale, Saturday only, from 7.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. Don't miss it. This is Scott Slade, celebrating 70 years of service to Atlanta. AM 750 WSB looks back. This is Eddie Cantor. I want to join the many others who are congratulating WSB on its anniversary. WSB has been broadcasting almost but not quite as long as I have been in show business. Over the years, AM 750 WSB has always changed with the times. Now in the 90s, you know more than ever. You can depend on News Talk Radio, AM 750 WSB. WSB Atlanta. News Talk Radio, AM 750 WSB. Atlanta's news weather and traffic station. It's 3.30. And with a quick update here... ...says retail sales are finally rising. They were up 1.3% last month, giving new evidence the recession is ending. A vote still expected this afternoon in the state legislature on the pay plan for state employees proposed by the governor. He wants 3% raise. So far, the state house is supporting a 2.5% hike. Delta Airlines is being hit with a lawsuit. Former Pan Am workers who were thrown out of work when Delta pulled the plug on the dying carrier say they wrongfully lost their jobs and benefits. The owner of a chicken processing plant in North Carolina where 25 people died in a fire surrendered today. Emmett Rowe of Atlanta will...